welcome to a new tutorial series. So today we are going to be looking on how we can convert long audio to text. So on her last video, we did how we can convert audio to text using the speech recognition library. So today I'm going to show you how you can convert your long audio to text. Okay, so what we are going to be making use of is the PyDub library. The PyDub library is how we can split our audio files into different chunks. I'm going to demonstrate how you can split all your audio files into different chunks before you pass them through the speech recognition library. So now, um, before I move right into the video, if you're a new user that is just coming to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and as well give me a thumbs up. So now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show us how we can get started with the PyDoc library and as well how we can demonstrate how we can convert one of our long audio to text. So first and foremost, if you don't have the PyDoc library on your machine, you can install it by doing pip install PyDoc or you use pip3 rather than doing pip install because you're going to be making use of Python 3. So you do pip3 install, you write it here, you do pip3 install. PyDub. So that is how you install PyDub on your machine. So now let's um, import a PyDub and also import a speech recognition library. So from PyDub, I import audio segments, and PyDub, I import make chunks and also import the whole host library, which I might not be making use of. I just imported it and I also import the speech recognition library. So these are what we are going to import. So now I'm going to first convert one of my audio to um, little chunks by using the PyDub library. So that's the first thing we're going to do so before I then pass it to my speech recognition library. Let's define a function to process I pass in the file name. So I'll call this because I'm sorry, I'll do that. I'm going to use the audio segments in the file of library. So the um the audio file I'm going to bring in is the .wav, that says the file is in .wav. So in case you are using an mp3 file, you can as well use, then you can use, I'm going to make use of um, .wav. Then I pass in my file name. So what you need to do is, you can do from mp3 and you pass in the file name. But one thing I just wanted to know before you can pass it to the speech recognition library, it has to be in WAV format because speech recognition library supports WAV and some other formats, but I don't think it supports the MP3 format. So now we are going to make convert it to little chunks. So I'm going to define the seconds this um, number of milliseconds. On how PyDub is on what PyDub is going to use, so that's what I did now. So we also need to make chunks. We need to make chunks. I will use from the PyDub tools. And I'm going to pass in my audio that is the audio file I'm bringing in. So, and the lens. The length from here. So now this is what we are making. Use. We are making them into simpler form. The reason why we make them into simpler form is we realize the speech recognition library can take everything at once. So the best thing is you split those audio files into chunks. Then after you split them into chunks, then you pass them through the speech recognition library one after the other. The our code is going to handle that. So when you have them one after the other, then you can what you can then export it. 
probably using a text file, then you have all your words, all your text in one place. Let's move forward. So what we're going to do now is I already pass, I already use the make chunks, whereby I use my audio file and the lens. That will be the seconds I want the level to convert. So what I'm going to do now is from here, this make chunks is the one that is splitting my audio into different words, into different points. So I already passing the this 8,000 means the number of milliseconds. I want this to be performed. This is how I want it to be split. So this is going to listen very well to the audio. It's not going to be too fast. So it's going to listen very well to the audio file and split it gradually. So here now from these chunks, this is the words, this is my file. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for Let's use the image. So I'm going to save them with format. I'm going to create possibly a directory, a new directory, then I save this new chunks as a particular so directory. So um, chunk name. Then let's do okay, wait, I'll create the directory below. So I'm going to use the, the directory detail here. So plus the file name. Formats is how it's going to be appending each of the files because it's going to be many chunks. So that's why we have the dot formats. And it's going to pick each and every of those files one by one. So let's use the different let's use the chunk name so you can see how it's doing this from our machine whenever we run it. So now I'm going to do chunk export. So this is where we are exporting our chunk files. So, so I think here is where the um idle finished its work. So that is how for how we can split it into our chunks. It depends on what you want to do. You might decide to define change this particular length that we have here. So you can just um do it according to your interest or how it suits you. And change this value that we have here. So I'm using 8000 because uh, milliseconds because I wanted to listen to my audio file very well. Why it's not too fast? So I can check the audio file and list. So when the speech recognition library gets gets it, it can record the text correctly. So that's for that. So okay, what I need to do is to have we did SR because already imports and in speech recognition as SR. So as SR as recognition. So the mind you let me use my file name. There's a file file is equal to chunk name. This is for these files. Going to be passing it through the recognition library one by one after the other. So now I'm going to move forward by saying the SR dot audio file. How we convert it in text is with the speech recognition library. Then I pass in the file from here. So I'm going to call it so. So then audio listened. So we say how to listen and because we're passing the source to the 
is listening. We also use the public form by saying how to recognize Google. We also have some people that try to remove any kind of noise from their audio. You can also do maybe ambience or something. You can check it up. So you can use that as well. So what I'm, I'm going to do now is you can see I use the SR file whereby passing my file. So one thing I need to do next is it has listened and it has recognized my audio. So definitely it's going to convert this. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty, uh, what do you call it? Empty file, which is in test format, where I can save all these files. So I need to define it here. So let's do empty file. And open. Then let's call it TXT. Then go to um, write format. So I already defined it here. So now I'm going to save this file. So what I'm going to do next is TXT equals write. Things. You remember the last time when we were working with this video recognition library, I told us to always add try and accept just in case we have issue with the code. So it's going to tell us let's add a try and accept. So let's use the accept. We're going to use the sr.unknown value so sr.unknown value error I'm going to print just in case it's not even a you don't really know the file so I don't recognize it so you can also pass um, let's say the request error So I think what else do we need to do? So remember I told you you need to define um what they call it, you need to define your directory. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to call the name of the directory count. So remember we had in this chunk here, just need to um, do this for host name. So let me use the try your accept one. So the next thing now is I'm going to call my words, call my function, and I will call it. So I'm going to pass in the file name. I think my file name is txt. So now we are going to run the file before we run a file. So this is supposed to be at the end. Okay, so I think that's okay. What we have here. So, and I also want to pass in the warnings. So it doesn't call everything that I have here. So let's do import warnings. I want the warning to show. Yeah, I'm going to check that later. Most important thing is let's run this code. Same name error, file name. Oh, okay. Let's remove this file name, not file name. So let's run it back again. Okay, file not found. Oh, this is supposed to be in wave, not TXT. Sorry. So, um, okay, this is the TXT. I just want to be sure of that. So let's run it back again. So, okay. They have chunk, it's not defined. 
uh, I guess this should be fine. Okay. Oh, margin, this is recognizer. Yeah. So let me just check again. So now it's exporting. Are the chunks that has been exported from the LO.w file? We have the LO wave and all file, these are our chunks. So I'm going to show us under the folder. So under here you can see these are the chunks file. You can see so um make them the two file. So this is the two chunks. So this is my text file. And the next this is the audio. Let me open this so you can see. You can see my long text. Let me just bring them down. So I'm I think that's everything and I feel you can make this um, works according to what you want to do just like I told you earlier you can try to adjust this value to make it capture um, audio more um, easier to capture each and every of your audio so and as well you can have the ambience part whereby it reduces all the noise and everything so there are different ways for you to convert speech to text have people that use all these google happy highs and all so you can as well look into that those ones you just need to get um i think you can use the um the key where you use the api to convert your audio file so but i would love to explore the speech recognition library if you guys make use of it's a very nice library so yes this tutorial was helpful for anyone um, I would like you to give me a thumbs up, comments below to see what are your thoughts on this particular library. And as well, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell. I would love to see you next time.